Gang, Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and we have three new Wii Knives. Starting this off, we have the Wii Banter that I have reviewed before. This one is a carbon fiber version in S35VN with a deep carry clip with flat screws. Awesome action. We're just going to take a quick look at this one. Such good action. This is a great size knife. It is such a plain design, and I mean that in a good way. It's such a simple design. Good access to the lock bar without it being like, you know, like really big. It's just protruding just that little bit, so it's easy to get to. Super smooth. Great access to the thumb studs. Beautiful blade shape. Nice grind. And you can get a four finger grip that's very comfortable. I love this blade shape. Um, one of my favorite blade shapes. Great choil and plunge grind. At least it's decent. You know, you do have a few sharpenings. But let's check out the superstar of the video. As I know, you guys are wanting to see the Conspirator. So, this is the new button... Man, I love that blade shape. This is the new button lock flipper with the fuller. Woohoo! This is, I, I just took it out of the package, guys. It comes with the pouch and all that good stuff. We have a, a, a fuller there for the reverse flick that works great. Beautiful blade shape. Man, I love this blade shape. Nice thin grind. Um, it's not like mega thin, but it's nice and thin behind the edge. The geometry is really nice. Good traction from the jimping very comfortable in the hand you do have a canted flipper tab let's check the flipping action great detent um the flipper tab angles right there so you can get a nice good choke up reversible deep carry clip not inset but it does have flat screws we have lots of milling on the inside and this is green micarta the blade is nitro v yep nitro v steel i like nitro v in my opinion nitro v is very similar to 14c 28n steel so you're going to get a lot of the same benefits it holds a really good edge it's easy to sharpen takes a very keen edge which is my favorite part um, and it likes just about any grit you want to sharpen it at so if you want a polished edge it does very well if you want a toothy edge it does very well um, it's it, it's very responsive to a strop for edge maintenance and it's easy to sharpen, you know, it's easy to tune up um, in the field or at home. But it holds a really good edge. So it's not like it's super easy to sharpen and it just goes dull really quick. It actually holds an edge very well. You know, considering it's heat treated properly, which there's one thing I've always given we and Civivi credit for. They do good heat treats. So very nice. Um, yeah, I like it. Let's chuck it left-handed. Oh, yeah. No blade um, play up and down, left or right. Nice and solid. Let's check the lock up. You can see how the, the plunge locks in right there. Very smooth. It is on ceramic caged bearings. So we're going to test this baby out and see how it actually does in testing. Now the fuller, it's not really sharp. But it actually has, yeah, it has a good edge on it. Um, let me try to zoom in and show you. It actually had, I thought it was going to be smooth. It's not like sharp, but it actually has an edge on it. So it allows you to, to grip it with your finger right there when you're flicking it with your nail or skin. So that's really cool. And you can get it with the side if you want to. Complete fall shut action i got a little tiny bit of stick but it's the amount of stick i like from the the button lock because it reassures me that there won't be any blade rock as long as you get that little tiny bit of then it's not going to have any blade rock now does that mean if you don't hear any type of stick at all that you're gonna have blade rock no not not necessarily but you have a better chance. 
That's it. Um, awesome action. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Very, very nice. Um, I, I like the profile. I love the design. The choil, um, I wish the plunge grind was farther back. It does, they give you about that much to sharpen off. So it's not too bad, but I like, you guys know how I am. I like my plunge grinds to be all the way back here. They gave me to the right there. Not horrible. Um, it'll still allow me, it'll still allow me to lay my edge angle back as far as I want. Um, and get another edge on there. One or two more edges on there before it'll ever touch the, um, the plunge grind. So that's awesome. Now, one thing I would like to see improved is the micarta. Um, not that it's bad or anything like that. That's fine. But there's so many companies putting out some really good quality micarta right now. And Civivi and Wee Knives have always been kind of a, a, one of the best, you know, some of the, like, kind of the leader of the budget brands and some of the premium knives. And... Right now, there's other companies just outperforming them with the micarta quality. So that is one thing I would like to see them, you know, kind of upgrade a little bit and, you know, bring in some, some better micarta to their knives. So hopefully we do see that in the future. And remember, guys, this is only a first impression. So I haven't tested anything yet. So... Um, all of that will be in the the review, the full review, the testing, the sharpening, the cutting, all of that good stuff will be in the review. This is only my first impressions. All right, let's check out the last one really quick. The last knife is a Bob Terzola fixed blade. You guys know, I guess lately I've kind of been getting into some of the Terzola stuff. Well, I've always loved Terzola, but this is the name is the Tamashi, the Tamashi fixed blade. Here's the specs really quick. I probably already threw them up on the screen, so maybe I don't need to do that. And then here is, we'll test it out already. Ooh. Here's the sheath, and it does have what's similar to a tech lock on there, so you'll be able to carry this any direction, which is really nice. So, very, very awesome. Let's. Oh, that's solid. That's really solid. Nice push off point. Man, that, that's really. Listen to that. No play or tap any direction. It is very solid. You can feel it's solid. The handles are micarta. And it, obviously it comes with a lanyard. The blade steel is... I don't see it. Let me check really quick. The steel... Oh, D2, um, 58-60 HRC. Very slim, though. It has that... Uh, it, I don't know. Is it a Persian? I think it's a straight back, more of a straight back, kind of like a Japanese Tanto style blade. An actual, like a Japanese, sorry, a Japanese Tanto, um, like the actual swords, the, the original. Very comfortable in the hand. Man, it is, it is, it's, it feels so thin, the blade, but it's actually robust back here. Then you have this beautiful swedge, which is definitely going to give you some you know, some piercing um, precision on towards the tip. The no plunge grind, or sorry, no choil, but it does have the plunge grind that almost drops straight down to the edge. I don't think it'll be a big deal on something like this. And when you're cutting, you're, you're really close to the edge, so you can do repeat cuts. It does have a little bit of traction on the jimping. And you can see the Bob Terzola design or uh, logo right there. Very cool. I've been wanting to check this out um, with along with a lot of other Civivi uh, fixed blades. Because, you know, I haven't really tried too many. Another Terzola. So this would be cool. I'm definitely going to carry and test this out. See how I like it. Um, I'm definitely going to take the lanyard off. I'm not much of a lanyard guy. 
because I want to be able to to get I like if it's small then I'm okay with it but not when it's big if it's a full-size knife I just for me personally a lot of people like them um, a lot of my friends love them um, which is cool everybody's got their thing right I like having um, to be I don't know I, I like that freedom back here you know with my hand I like being able to spin it I like being able to to have a lot of control without the the paint the lane you're swinging around on me and if it's a small blade it's different because then it actually helps me but anyways just wanted to show you guys these really quick I'm really loving the conspirator and you guys already know I like the banter the, um I also have the baby banter um which are is a little bit smaller than this which is also really awesome i will link whatever i can down in the description for you guys i do have a discount code for civivis or we knives one of the two i'm not sure if it'll work on both knives i think it might only be for civivis on their their, their site i'm not positive on that so i'm not sure if the we will allow you to get a discount code but I'm going to link everything down in the description. Whatever I can. I love you guys. Peace.